Scouring Uganda's countryside reveals attempts by many at industrializing, and specifically, agro-industry. For example, this is a 3 billion shillings factory that processes fruits ranging from pineapples to mangoes, and had almost closed before it actually started. In 2017, uh, we needed lots of capital to support the farmers who had actually taken keen interest in the factory. So we started receiving truckloads of fruits that we were unable to process. So we called upon the government for help. And we ended up getting two billion support from the government through Uganda Development Corporation, which we put into paying of debts that had accrued and uh, staff salaries, and of course improving the facilities here. The impact of such a fruit processing factory in the Sinjiro district is seen when you consider the farmers that supply fruit to this factory. We have about a thousand suppliers, but the problem is we don't have cooperatives. You see, we have individuals, like for example, this garden, you see, is one person. But then it's also difficult to, to generate funds to purchase fruits from, from the farmers. So I've called for the organization of the farmers in groupings, in organized groupings, but I think we need to do more. So a functional value chain that will actualize agro-industrialization is indispensable. And such well-intended initiatives like Operation Wealth Creation don't seem yet to deliver the impact their creation was intended for. OWC has actually tried, but they should step up and they should look at a bottom-up approach whereby they look at the product on demand, because that has been the complaint. Samo Setumba, NTV, Business.